What up, players? Wobust Tay up in this mud. Right now, I've got a box of Vargeist slash Crypt Horrors, but I can't think of a way to magnetize them just because there's so many things on them, so much differences between the two. Looks like the only thing they share is their um, is the front of their torsos. Look to be about the same, but even down to like their their toes. Well. The talons look like they might be the same now that I think about it. They just have them positioned differently. Uh, but everything else, like the arms, the heads, the crests on the back. <coughs> <coughs> so I was wondering to all of you Vampire Counts players, which do you prefer? I think they both have their, their uses. One is definitely more suited to attacking um, with the frenzy rule, with the fly rule being from vampiric. The um, Vargeists are able to march and get to the enemy faster and tear it up faster. They're stronger, but the Crypt Horrors are tougher and therefore make a better, I guess, anvil unit to kind of stay in one place. So, um, I don't know, I guess it, it questions like what else would you have in your army? I'm planning on having like the, the um, Mortis engine, not much hitting power. So I I don't know, I might I might go with the, with the Vargeist just because I have zombies and skeletons to be the anvils, and with invocation of Nehek, I guess uh, the vampire counts have really good ways of keeping keeping things in place. But man, just look at how how gruesome and awesome the these cryptors look with this uh, all that stuff coming out of that guy's back. Um, so I don't know. Both either way, they're both going to be awesome. But I'm planning on doing an unboxing painting videos soon so I wanted to know from the Vampire Counts community which one you like. I've been to a couple of forums so I've, I've got kind of a basic idea. I've, I've checked on Warseer and um, the Vampire Counts <coughs> um, website. I can't remember what it's called now off the top of my head. Vampire Counts uh, has a whole unofficial website dedicated to them by a bunch of players so I've, I've checked there as well but let me know what you guys think. So that's coming up. Also um, we're finishing up our Iron Blaster. You might have, you might recognize this little guy. And um, next, what we're going to be doing is painting up these uh, bracers, horn bracer things that go on the on the Iron Blaster, and connect to the cannon. So stay tuned for that. <clears throat> and um, also, hey, you might have heard these guys are coming out soon. The Empire. Uh, I kind of converted this guy from some state trooper and uh, militia bits. He's going to be a halberdier, maybe the, the, the sergeant. Definitely in there somewhere though. He's pouring a 40 out for his homies. Um, so looking forward to that. And actually what I've got planned for that is I'm building up a bunch of guys and what I'd like to do is do a paint scheme for all of the different provinces. Kind of like my orcs where I randomly choose um, a clan for each orc. But um, I might not, I might not build complete regiments. But it, I think it'll be a fun challenge to paint all the different provinces because so often you see the, you know, the Talapheim red and white. But I think it'll be fun to paint other things like the Sterling green, yellow, or the um, Ostermark purple and um, and yellow. I think so. So there's a lot of different different provinces. I think there are 16 that I counted that have their own individual entry in the Uniforms and Heraldry book. So let me know which ones you guys would like to see. Also let me know which ones the Vargeist or the Crypt Horrors you guys would like to see. And yeah, that's kind of what I got on the plate for the rest of the week. Spring break, woohoo! So um, hope you guys are all doing well out there and we'll see you in the next video.